G'day, how's it going? And welcome to my first entry, or second entry, I guess, into my CRTO journey. So while I actually started this course a number of months ago, without actually having the time to dedicate continuous ongoing study sessions and only having a study session once every couple of weeks, I've found that I have restarted this course uh, over and over because either things aren't working or I'm not understanding the context in where I'm meant to be because as I mentioned in my first episode, it's kind of like one giant long lab. So without understanding the context of where I should be and redeploying the lab, it's kind of been a little bit tedious because I've had to basically start over now for the third time. However, I am kind of glad that I did for the third time because I haven't been rushing through. So while I'm up to the session passing module, so roughly about 40% of the way through, I'm guessing, um, having done everything and followed along step by step rather, throughout the entire course, rather than just doing the exercises uh, that it specifies, uh, I've found to be a much better way of approaching this course and it just helps with things sinking in. On the topic of things sinking in, uh, I am having a little bit of trouble trying to get all that knowledge to consolidate. So things like what the connect and link does and the difference between them, um, and just basically understanding, uh, I guess, the context of where things should be. Um, so when, for example, you're specifying uh, absolute directories in some of the beacon commands, knowing what, uh, what machine you're pointing to for that directory uh, has just been a little bit confusing, but largely just, uh, it makes sense with, within the context. You just really, I guess, have to pay attention and not be on autopilot. So far, I am finding this, this course pretty good. However, uh, one minor grievance is simply the uh, lagginess and copy and paste uh, limitations as it's going through Apache Guacamole. I found when I'm experiencing issues, I just close the tab and relaunch the um, the tab again through Snap Labs, and that tends to fix most of the problems pretty quickly. Another minor grieve grievance is again when you're following along with these exercises, sometimes you're just not sure of the context of what you should be doing. So for example, in one of the UAC bypass labs, it was just starting saying, uh, this is how you bypass UAC, which is all well and well and good. But if you wanted to replicate those steps yourself, uh, and it's sometimes they don't specify what machine or what user they're actually, they have their beacon on. So that can be a little bit confusing and a little bit time consuming as well as you're kind of deconstructing what they did just to get to um, where the start of that you know particular exercise starts. Anyway these are minor grievance grievances. Um, I think what I need to do for so I can try to solidify these concepts is to really have a bit of a dictionary going of what all these terms are and basically a cheat sheet like I did with the OSCP. I found that was to, that was largely effective. However, unlike the OSCP, you kind of work, you don't work things out for yourself. It's more sort of uh, everything's already on the page itself. So when you're, when I'm creating my cheat sheet, it's almost feeling like a copy and paste exercise rather than researching things for myself, which I worry for knowledge retention. Uh, I f always find one of the best ways for knowledge retention is to do a cheat sheet and to experiment. That is somewhat limited due to the lab being on Apache Guacamole, um, just on Snap Labs, so you don't actually have access to it to really have that little kind of low level playing around and messing things up. Um, I guess I guess you kind of do, but it is just horribly laggy and inefficient. Um, and yeah, and as because all of the terms are pretty much given to you on the tutorials, it's kind of hard to, you know, really solidify that knowledge. Um, so I think just really taking a deep dive and uh, putting together that cheat sheet, spending time to really work out the differences, even uh, despite the minor grievances uh, that I have along the way, should help with that knowledge retention. Almost forgot to mention uh, where I'm up to and what I've done. So from the introduction from the course, uh, that pretty much goes through just introduction to how the course is run, introduction to Cobalt Strike, 
Um, and then it kind of goes straight into it with showing you how to do some external recon um, and how to get the initial compromise for a phishing email. You then go on to do a bit of host recon um, and installing a bit of persistence and it showed you multiple ways of doing this as well as privilege escalation which wasn't as extensive as OSCP but it had a few interesting ones which weren't in the OSCP so that was fun. Uh, domain recon which is just finding information out about the, the about the demo de about the domain uh, moving laterally, which is a bit confusing with all the different commands, but interesting nonetheless. Um, credentials and user impersonation is also a bit in-depth, which is interesting and needs a bit of uh, revision. Um, password cracking tips is really good just for a knowledge consolidation if you're already familiar with Hashcat and just kind of teaches a few new things and just tidies up what you might have already known just from using it. Uh, and session passing, which was fun to pass, you know, sessions back and forth from Cobalt Strike to Metasploit. Anyway, my next topics are Kerberos, Active Directory Services, Group Policy, uh, Discretionary Access Control List, and MS SQL Servers. I'll probably do in my next session uh, and for my next video. Uh, so with all that said and done, I think that's everything to go over for today. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you wanted to check out this course for yourself, check out the affiliate link that I have in the description. So that just helps support uh, the creator of the CRTO certificate as well as myself in the process. So anyway, thanks again for watching, uh, subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next one.